Today we're going to talk about the get ignore file. The get ignore file pretty much lets you ignore certain files when you're committing or pushing to your repository. So for example, the application YAML file that we made in the previous videos, it holds a lot of configurations for you, uh, personal configurations that you might not want to share in your repository, like your access keys. So the get ignore file allows you to really keep those off of your commits. And you have your default get ignore that should be created for you when you generate your Rails app. But I'm just going to customize it to something like this. This is what I use throughout most of my Rails project. I'm not going to go through all the lines here because it's it works for me. It could work for you, but you could change it to however, whatever fits your needs. I'm just going to point out several lines. So for example, the the temp folder is not something we want to upload because it's just full of junk that you can you can really clear out at any time. Your logs are something that you don't want to you don't want to upload as well because we don't want your errors filling up our repository. Coverage is for testing, so it really just shows the number of lines that are not covered by your tests. We haven't done any tests, so you don't really need to worry about that, but it's something to look into if you are writing tests. Now, our database.yaml file is something that we want to keep out because we have certain configurations. So, for example, your team member might have different configurations than you do for your database YAML. And if you actually go to our database YAML, you can see that our username and password is pretty unique. So, it could be different for your team member as it as compared to you. So that's why we want to put that in the get, get ignore. Your application.yaml file, again, like I said, it's full of your configuration options and it's something that you don't want to upload it to your repository. Other than that, everything is pretty much the, the pretty much standard. Um, I mean, I don't know, it's it's just something that to help to make it more convenient when you're when you're uploading to a repository so that the files that you don't want to be uploaded, you it won't be uploaded. So that's basically what I wanted to talk about in this video. Really short video on getting ignore. Other than that, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave questions and comments in the comment box as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.